10.20 in the morning. It rained most of the night and most of the morning. So I just sat in my tent and <laughs> slept in. Um, tent's almost dry. I'll just pack it up a bit damp. Because I have a short walk today, I can set it up again. Kitchen is empty because people are finally going on their own. Actually, they're really fine. Yeah, it's like super cold. I poured my headlamp for a box in the last night and I found it this morning. The nice lodge. This trail is 10.6 kilometers. Difficulty is medium. We got a little climb happening and it closes at four o'clock last night kicking back with a couple of beers hanging out with jennifer after that hard hard hike and eating that huge hamburger was just what i needed <laughs> it was such an unexpected treat gray lake okay here's the glacier Whoa, 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 waterfall. Waterfall. A lot more truckers. <laughs> now that I'm on the W. Rio. So far, though, <laughs> but yeah, I think the big climb is up ahead. Hello. Hi, Sana. Hi. <laughs> Bye. That's Enrique from Galicia. Yeah. And wet, climbing up the rocks. I didn't eat breakfast yet, so I'm having a cereal bar. And admiring the view. Trail three. Hard at work. I just saw a girl with a broken backpack strap. Her pack is overloaded and it's not very good quality. I really feel bad for her. She's trying to uh, buckle in a solution to keep it on her shoulder, but it's gonna be painful. A lot of first time hikers starting the W. Why well, some are white, but most are purple. Purple, purple, white, white, purple, purple, purple. You no, know, this is day hike zone when you see a no smoking sign. Whoa, 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 waterfall. More lookout. We are going up, up, up. snacks on that lookout you just walk like two minutes further not even and you have this much better lookout with no people what's that noise it's the boat yeah timed it wrong now i'm behind this big group i'm gonna pass all these peeps on a descent, a little mucky nothing. and groomed well. Not like yesterday. Fire damage. Dead trees. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Anu and Natalie. They gave me chocolate. About three kilometers to go. I was starting to get worried because I hadn't seen anyone in 10 minutes and this trail is busy. And then way up ahead, I see an orange backpack cover. So I'm just gonna go straight down the center of this valley. Temperature just dropped down. I sneezed a few times as soon as I entered this little valley. Plant protectors. 
all along the hillside. Regrowth, I guess after the fire. Great view of the lake ahead. I'm mesmerized by the lake and I'm like, where's the lodge? I'm gonna run out of trail soon. And then I'm like, oh, right there to my right. This is the way if you are going to pay ho and it's an alternative exit to the park. Uh, most people who come here that haven't walked in take the boat. There's a boat, I think it costs like 30 bucks or so, that brings you straight here. And then tomorrow, that's the way I'm going to go towards Italiano. I'm not staying there, but that's the direction. Here is the boat schedule. Some more hiking trails to the side, and this lodge looks like a big hotel holy moly and a uh, camping zone to the right in camping to the side is the camping office where you check in where oh where do i put my tent you seem to have like little privacy screens kind of neat oh and they have trash cans here <laughs> mountains and trash cans what more do you need to set up and they got to tag tag it because they've had problems with peeps sneaking the tent spot Ooh, and the sun is coming out it's dark over there though Hello hall for the campers much bigger than the one last time which was jam-packed so that's good I'm going to take a shower. Showers have certain hours. These are also an option instead of camping. I feel pretty dirty, so I'm going to take a shower. Staff quarters has some techno blaring down there. When I was in the showers, I was talking with this Italian uh, girl, her name's Cynthia, and she was telling me that last night in gray, in that tiny little cram dining room, there was a fire. I guess someone didn't close their gas cylinder and the person next to them, because it was so tight, was cooking, ignited the gas, and whew, there was a giant fire, and people panicked. Nothing was orderly. Everyone crammed and rushed out and it was a tiny little room that could have been an epic epic disaster so incredibly dangerous that makes my decision to have that hamburger last night like like 10 times more thankful i ate it because i could have had my hair on fire <laughs> coffee there i have to get coffee in the morning Trees. Even condo. Here's a lot of more expensive here. Like Four thousand at the other places. At least the big bottles are still seven though. Bread, brownies, eggs, bottles of wine, and lots of stuff. Do you want a massage? The breakfast and lunch times. You must book your meals in advance. And yeah, it is totally like a proper huge.
Shout out to my fellow Canadians, the Canadian family from Vancouver. Thanks for the beer. Cheers. This is falling, so I need to go to bed because it's going to be a hard day tomorrow, but an amazing lookout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.